Hey, sorry everybody. I hit. Uh, I was trying to get the dogs in the video, and I was when I uh, came off the dogs and was about to put my phone up against my cup again. I hit one of the buttons on the side of my phone, and that ended the video. Sorry about that. There is one more thing in the box that I want to show off. Um, I'm presuming it's handmade by Pat. We'll have to find out if she uh, states that in the comments. This will be my shit. Oh my god, this is uh, beautiful. It's a lap blanket with fringes. So beautiful and gorgeous. It's straight for um, when I'm just sitting and knitting or crocheting. And I, um, it smells nice too. I'm not sure if she washed it or not, but it smells pretty. And when I say I don't know if it was washed or not, she could have maybe sprayed some perfume on it, maybe. But oh, these fringes. What an added touch on these fringes. I'm just gonna hold it up a minute. All right, uh, not sure what stitch this is. Uh, Pat, when you uh, watch this video, could you please um, say what stitch this is that you made? In case anybody wants to make it. It looks like double crochet, and I'm not <coughs> sure what else. Yes, if you heard that, it's gunshots. Quite uh, common here in the country. Um, no, it is what it is. Uh, the only time I heard gunshots in New York was at the um, pistol range where the cops practiced. Here, it's a pretty common thing. Um, so far, there have not been no, thank God, no rail shootings where I live. Thank God. Um, I'm sure there's been shootings maybe on the main road or breaking. If somebody breaks into a home and it ends up being a home invasion, I'm sure then maybe somebody is shot. But uh, God forbid, of course, but I'm not wishing that on anybody, including my household or anybody else on our property. There's a main house and three trails on our property. Um, one of the people on the property does, one household has um, guns. What kind or how many, I don't know. Uh, but they only use it for protection. As for, uh, we don't have guns in our place here. The other two dwellings, I'm not sure. The main house and the other, uh, the third trailer, I don't think so. But um, sometimes uh, you know, a friend will come over, hey, can I practice you know, in your yard or whatever? Because um, you know, in the country it's common. It's not common in town. So you know, if my uh, future brother-in-law allows their friends to practice the guns on their property where nobody will get hurt, no animals getting hurt, no people getting hurt, that's fine, I don't mind. And I'm just going to let you see the fringes. I love fringes. I never thought to put fringes on my blanket. I put them on scarves, but I've never put them on blankets. Some more fringes, different colors. I'm so annoyed that um, I didn't get this on the other video, but I accidentally hit the um, button on the side of my phone after showing the dogs in the last video. And again, I'm going to Hold this up close. As you see, it's some um, double crochet. Oh, let me get those fringes out of the way.
I'm almost positive it's double crochet. But uh, Pat will be happy to tell us in the um, comments, definitely. Well, it could be the half double crochet. But it's uh, beautiful. Look at these colors. It's okay, honey, sweetie. It's not the first time you've heard them. I'm going to leave this out of the box. And, um, I'll use this when I feel chilly. Especially when I'm just sitting during the day. Don't want to put the heat up too much. Um, no, I don't mind putting the heat up, but, uh, our place is all electric. And, including the stove. And we have central AC and heat. Um, we don't use the central AC because we have the two ACs. It's way cheaper. Um, central heating and AC uh, puts the electric through the roof. Anybody that's got central AC and air, air conditioning and heating knows that. Um, and I'll put it on during the day if I have to. Uh, but then again, sometimes just making a pot of pasta or mac and cheese does a great job of heating the place up a little bit. Um, well, making a meatloaf will, uh, heat the place up, too. A little bit, you know, just enough to get the chill out of the air. I mean, I'm not gonna cook just to heat the place up. Because it doesn't even matter just at that point put the heat on. Uh, well, I'm gonna pack this all up and, um, put in the shed later with the rest of my stuff. If I can, I don't think I'm gonna uh, look for the. Uh, I know where the box is, but I don't think I'm gonna open, it, go for the box today, and you know, pull the books out. I'll do that tomorrow when I'm back in the shed, um, and then I could do an unboxing on those books. Like I said, I think one book I might have in the house here in the closet. I'm not sure, but um, either way, uh, if I find. Um, Whatever books I get out of that box in the shed uh, tomorrow, I'll bring in. And then Monday when I go through the closet, I'll look through the odd bag or two that I know I have a couple of books in. Uh, some, depending on what we're doing or where we're going, I'll bring a crafts book, you know, a couple of crafts books with me. One book I think I have in the house here. I'm almost positive it's in the house here. It's in one of the bags um, in my closet. It should be up front. But like I said, Monday, I'll, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get in the, um, shed Monday, being my sister and I each have a, an appointment. Um, I mentioned that in the last video. But, um, my sister's going to take me to my appointment, then go to hers, and then she'll come back for me when she's done. Well, if I'm not ready for mine, she'll either wait a few minutes for me or have to come back for me. And I do have a couple of granny squares that I have to mail off for um, a crochet club that uh, somebody got me into, uh, also from a YouTuber. Well, he's got his own channel, but I don't think he's got any content. But um, he got me into a, a granny square club, Crochet Partners, I believe it is. I'm not sure if you have to know somebody to get into it or not. Uh, it's on Facebook. So what you could do is uh, try it and get, look into it. Um, then there's another one that's by uh, Jan Carruthers, C-A-R-R-U-T-H-E-R-S. She's a YouTuber. She comes on 4 p.m. Saturday, Eastern Standard Time. I'm not sure. She's in England. I'm not sure if she's still in Manchester or not. But uh, she had recently moved. To maybe a half hour, an hour away from where she was. Um, so I'm in with that group where we could post pictures and whatever on that group. Um, could be of us knitting or crocheting or the finished product. 
I'm not sure if you could upload videos to it. If you could, I would upload... I'll have to see if you can, because then I could upload maybe a video or two of me crocheting. Obviously not a long one, because I don't, I'm not the only one in the group. Other people want their stuff seen as well. Um, but it's nice knowing how to knit, crochet. Other people suggest groups and try and get you into the groups if they can. And um, thank God I was accepted into the groups because sometimes you meet a lot of nice people that way. Uh, maybe even some people that are in your area. Um, there's one woman on, I'm not mentioning names for their privacy. Um, like with Nip Pearl and Squirrel, with Granny D, I could. Um, she allows us to tell people about her channel and shout outs. I'm sure Jan Carruthers don't mind either. Um, like this one woman, when I said I'm between, uh, on one of the channels, somebody said, well, where are you from? Meaning everybody. So I said I'm in northern Florida between Gainesville and Jacksonville. So this one woman said, well, she's got to be either in this town, this town, and this town. But those are the only major towns between Gainesville and Jacksonville. And wherever she is, she's only 10 minutes away from me. She didn't say what town she was in. Uh, but it's one of the three that she had mentioned, of which one is what the one I'm in. And this one other woman, she said she's 45 minutes from me, so I believe she's in, I'm thinking Jacksonville. She could be in Gainesville. But I'm thinking, for some reason, I'm thinking Jacksonville. Then there's another woman in Kissimmee. That's about two to three hours away. And then there were a couple of others that said they were Floridians. Um, I don't know if you could consider me and my family Floridians, being we weren't born here in Florida. Like when we moved from New York, I was 50 years old. And my 51st, 52nd, and 53rd birthday here in Florida. So I don't know if we could be considered Floridians or not. Um, I'm still trying to learn the Southern ways. I'm not used to some of the Southern hospitality. Hmm. My family and I haven't come across a lot of Southern hospitality, but we've come across some. It's okay, sweetie. Just practice. It's okay. No, it's not often that we hear gunshots this close. So, um, she gets a little nervous, but we're okay. Uh, nobody bothering anybody. So, um, now that's a good thing. Uh, on our property here, we all try and uh, mind our business. Well, this dwelling and one other one is, we're all family. Because the other dwelling is my sister, her fiance, who owns the property and their kids. And the other two dwellings, one is family through uh, my brother-in-law, for him and my sister get married. I mean, we consider them family anyway. Then the other one isn't related, but... Depending on what's going on, we all stick together or whatever. But um, I'm going to end this video. Thank you, Pat, for all your um, uh, goodies that you send me. I don't know what the correct word is. Your, your goodies, gifts, presents. Um, I thank you and your husband for all this. I'm sure it's mostly you. Uh, sending it. Uh, I'm sure your husband has a hand in on helping pay for your goodies, including the ones that you send me, but it doesn't matter who's paying it, paying for it. Um, thank you, Pat. God bless. And uh, maybe one day I'll be able to send you a little something, maybe out of what I make. We'll see. Time will tell. I have to get the mermaid tail done for Avery's best friend being her mom. Uh, gave me some money to help with yarn. My sister helped me with a little, some money to buy a little extra when I couldn't do the original pattern. Uh, it wasn't, uh, I never worked with, um, oh god, bulk, uh, chunky yarn. And I don't think that would have been the problem, but the, uh, hooks were, I believe, a size 15 and 25, and I never worked with anything that big. So I used smaller hooks, and the increase. Even though I was doing everything right, the increase didn't look like it was increasing, so, um, I'm sorry, my leg is itchy. 
uh, my psoriasis. Um, so I had to switch patterns. So my sister helped get some extra yarn to make sure I had enough. I'm almost positive I had enough, but with Corona, it's flaring up in some areas again. And if they go into lockdown, God only knows if the trucks that will have the yarn on it will be able to pass through that town. Or if they got to get rerouted, or if they can't go through it all. So, I'd rather have too much yarn for the blanket and not need it than not to have, an, than not to have enough. And I have to give it to her, you know, smaller. So, I switched patterns and hoping to make it a little bit too big for her, lengthwise. Widthwise, it should be big enough. Um, the kid isn't fat, but it just seems like as she's getting taller, it seems like she's thinning out. And she's not, she wasn't a fat kid. Um, or she wasn't so skinny that she looked like she was starving. Uh, she was, I guess, well-built, would uh, be the correct term, I guess, well-built, or well, put together good, I don't know, but, um, she was a nice size, <coughs> normal child, a normal child is what I'm trying to say, but, um, in case of lockdown, I would rather have too much yawn, um, and with the preferred stay at home, worst case scenario, if Walmart Near my sister's job or Walmart here in town didn't have the yarn. We could always order the yarn to be delivered to the house or have it ordered to Walmart and pick it up from there. No big deal either way. <coughs> my sister's job is just basically the parking lots connect. At some point, I'm sure there's a property line. So if you fall on Walmart's property, you contact Walmart. Or if you fall on my sister's jobs parking lot then you can't contact her job um, but no nobody as long as people are cautious and watching where they walk you shouldn't trip or fall but um, anyway um, I'm grateful <coughs> for my sister for whatever you want she got for the mermaid tail and I'm grateful for the mother for whatever she was able to um, contribute towards it um, so, no, I'm blessed with plenty of yarn from my friends like Pat Dancer. Uh, <coughs> oh, gosh. I'm going to take a drink after I end this video. And Nick Pearl and Squirrel with Granny D, they gave me a nice supply of yarn. So, I'd be kept plenty busy if we did get under lockdown. We were only a suggested stay at home. <coughs> Excuse me, which I did for the most part. Um, no, I didn't care. I got plenty of yarn. Uh, and this unboxing, and the other unboxing from Pat Dancer and her husband, and from Nip Pro Squirrel with Granny D. Um, whatever I make with these three unboxings, I am keeping for myself. Unless I decide to make Pat something out of this, I don't know yet. Um, I do have plenty of yarn in the shed. Um, I have enough of some colors to make a project. Then I'd have to use multiple things of yarn to make other projects. But depending on what I'm making, who cares? You know, it's projects. Even if I have to make granny squares to, um, get something made. Um, I have a lot of balls of yarn to do the... <coughs> Granny Square Blankets, um, the Crochet Angel Lollipops, um, if I want to do a crazy blanket, I, I'll just have to uh, pair the uh, yarns off and make one huge ball, or just put in, take in a bunch of balls from the yard, the uh, shed and make a crazy blanket that way and just put the colors in the order that I want instead of just tying them together and Oh gee, it doesn't look right, so. But I've got plenty of options. Um, with my yarn that I have already. Plus, more options on what, uh, for my three unboxings. I just have to figure out now what I'm making with this unboxing. And the other unboxing. But like I said, 
Um, I have five others of these in the shed from the first unboxing from Pat. So I'm going to make a cowl and shawl with that for myself. Then with my birthday one, there was an Amagurumi book, I believe. And I'll make a bunch of Amagurumi from that. I have a book that I bought from the mall. That might be my fourth video that I make. Uh, but I definitely have two others to make. And I did make a video this morning before I went into the shed. Actually, it may have been this afternoon. I said I have three hours to get into the sh uh, before I have to worry about Granny D to do my shed and my shower. Well, get my, sh get my shed done. And um, I have been in the shed for three hours working before. Um, just not recently. Um, and... I was going to say working in the shed. Well, anyway, um... Like, so I have plenty of yarn in there. We were talking about yarn on different things I could make. But, um... Oh, the video that I made before I walked into my shed. I thought it was 12 o'clock when I made it. It was 1 o'clock. I didn't realize the time until after I got into the shed. For some reason, I thought it was closer to 12. But anyway, I'm going to end this video now. Everybody have a great rest of your Saturday and a great weekend. And, um, happy Saturday. God bless everybody. Bye.